hi welcome back to my mom life if you're new here welcome i'm jordan and today i am sharing with you what i got my kids for christmas So when I say what I got, I mean my husband and I, what we got for our kids for Christmas. Um, I'm also only sharing with you four of my kids, my two oldest, I will not be sharing because they could watch this and I don't want to spoil anything. So wait in, if you're watching this, click off. I don't want you knowing what everybody's getting. Kylie, you too. Um, I don't think they will, but you never know. So. The oldest two, they're really personalized gifts anyways, so I don't think it'll be very helpful. I love watching these videos because, especially for kids from like two to 10, you get really good ideas. Um, so that's why I'm making this video, just to share some ideas with you what a two-year-old boy might want for Christmas or a three-year-old girl, you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna go through. Also, now, now that I have it all laid out, um, I'm seeing some spots where I might need to fill in for one of my kids. So um, yeah, I'm gonna pick up a few other things too, but we kept it pretty minimal this year for me at least. This might not be minimal for everybody. Um, and I wanna say that we are very blessed and I am lucky to be able to get these things for our kids. We haven't always gone big. Um, like I said, to me, this is not going big. We really scaled back. We're traveling for Christmas this year, so we needed smaller items that we can travel with, um, as well as each of them are getting a big item that will be under the tree when we get home. But yeah, so there's two things that I didn't wanna bring in because they're hidden and they're bigger, so I'm gonna put on the screen a picture when I'm talking about them. Other than that, I'm gonna roll right in and show you everything we picked up. So I think I will start with our youngest and work our way up to the oldest kid that I'm sharing. So for Bennett, he is one and a half and he really has no interest in like a lot other than just running around and being a toddler boy. So um, I struggled knowing what to get him. He loves balls, but we have all the balls. Um, so he just recently started showing an interest in Spider-Man. He calls him Spidey. On Disney Plus, there's a Spidey's Adventures or something where they actually do call him Spidey. So I think that's where he got that from. But he loves it. And this is just a new thing. So when my husband and I went Christmas shopping just a couple days ago, we're like, Spidey. All the Spidey things. So he's only getting a few things because he's like a year and a half. He really doesn't care. And um, I know that he will be getting things from my parents and um, my husband's parents and you know, so I didn't want to just buy a bunch of stuff for him to not even care. So we got him this, we have an Ollie's in our town and it's new, I've never been. And it's kind of a discount, it, or it is, it's a discount store and they have all kinds of stuff. But we found this Spider-Man. This is not the one that he watches on TV, but he'll still know that it's Spidey. And it was only $4.99, so can't beat that. And it's a bigger action figure. My boys have some other ones like this. I think they have like the original Spider-Man colored one. Um, and then Hulk or Batman, I don't remember. But we do have some that are this size, and I think that he will like having his own. There's a glare, sorry. I'm in my daughter's room because the lighting in this house is terrible right now because it's very gloomy out. It's actually sunny right now and it's blaring through this window. So if there's a glare, I'm sorry, but it's a Spider-Man action figure for Bennett. So the next thing that we got for him is this, another Spider-Man action figure. I'm gonna talk softer because I don't want them listening. So I got, um, this see this is the spidey and his amazing friends that's the show he likes super cute and this little action figure is adorable it has this little web thing that will get lost but i think he'll have fun carrying this around and yet another spidey toy this is a uh, soft one and it makes noise great power comes great responsibility and uh, it says 15 sound effects, so it says all kinds of stuff, I guess. And it's softer, he can carry it around, and it's lightweight. So I think he'll really like that one. And then lastly, for Bennett, for his smaller gifts, 
we got him a little Nerf gun. He will not be able to, I don't think he'll be able to actually shoot this one. Um, yeah, because you have to like pull something and this actually takes quite a bit of effort. But he likes to just run around and pretend with his brothers. So we thought that this was adorable and it's just his size and he'll just be able to pretend. Now for his big gift, um, I didn't bring it in, but I will put a picture on the screen right here you can see that hopefully I found it <clears throat> it is a ride-on spider-man little four-wheeler um, and we found it at Walmart and everything that I can find I will link for you below um, because I always like watching these videos this time of year to get ideas because sometimes you just don't know and if you're buying for somebody like and you don't have kids or you're a grandparent and you're trying to you're not really sure what a one and a half year old boy might want it's just a good way to get ideas okay so anyways I will try and have everything linked for you in the description box but this is his big gift all right moving on and they're all getting candy and um, some treats I'll show you that last for Sawyer Sawyer is oh no 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 we're gonna go in order so Everly Everly is three she'll be four in January Miss Everly loves everything sparkly jewelry um, art, drawing, and Play-Doh. So you're going to see that in her gifts. <clears throat> the first thing that I picked up for her was, so earlier this year she got her ears pierced and um, she does not have her own jewelry box. So I picked this up. It's in this cute little box. I'll take it out so I can show you. I got it on Amazon. She also loves unicorns and everything glittery, like I said. So this is what it looks like on top. It has a little drawer. And then inside, it's gonna play you. But it has a little unicorn. And it also comes with a necklace. I don't want to take everything out, but it comes with a necklace and a bracelet. And um, yeah. It's just going to be a good spot to store her earrings and any jewelry that she has. And I think every little girl needs one of these in their life. I know I had one when I was a kid. And <clears throat> I just think that it's precious and she's going to love it. So to go with that, let me put this back. To go with that, I picked up some things on Amazon. And then we got some things at Walmart. But I found this little um, set of rings. And it's absolutely adorable. There's all kinds of rings. <clears throat> but yeah, she's gonna love it. And there's a unicorn, a cactus, a dinosaur, a mermaid tail. So cute. And then also this pack of bracelets and glare is killing me. Some necklaces and some bracelets. Like I said, I don't wanna take everything out. We are traveling um, with some of these things, but um, if you're interested in jewelry like this, it was pretty inexpensive. I'll link it below for you. It was on Amazon. My husband picked her up. This is hilarious. So it's super cute. She loves gummy bears. And I'm not sure how the little um, dangly earrings are going to go over for her, but the necklace is adorable and I think she'll have fun with this. So this little set was from Walmart and it's actually the Claire's brand, which Walmart carries now. Um, and then... The last kind of jewelry item we got her was this Minnie Mouse watch. She loves wearing watches. She wears one every day. She doesn't have one of her own. It's actually an old watch from my mom uh, that was hers and like Everly wears it all the time. So that's all her jewelry items. <clears throat> I also found her at Walmart this adorable little purse has a unicorn on it and it's just tiny and it's her size and I think it's precious and let's see all of the kids except for Bennett are getting headphones because we are traveling they'll get these early um but I thought for the plane this would be a good idea to have for their tablets and the headphones that we had all broke so I got each kid a set of headphones these are just cheap ones from Walmart for her then I found this this is so cute she loves Minnie Mouse loves Minnie Mouse so I found this 
again with the glare but it's a little wooden mini and you can dress her with different outfits it comes with shoes and it's like the magnetic yeah 35 pieces and it's melissa and doug which i love the melissa and doug brand so picked this up for her she's gonna love this i also grabbed her this let's see I don't want to take it out of the box but it's a drawing tablet and it's um, just it's one that you can draw on and then you push a button and it erases it and it's like rainbow underneath so whatever she's drawing will show up in rainbow she's gonna love this I have a feeling that her and my son are gonna fight over this so I may pick him up one I think he would really like it and he's kind of lacking a little bit compared to my other son so I may grab him one of these I think he would really like that but anyways, they have all kinds of colors. Um, got it on Amazon. It's super highly rated too, so hopefully it works good. Now, okay, her bigger item. So each kid, like I said, is getting a big item. Um, it's the special item, if you know what I mean. It's the, uh, yeah, the item that's gonna be under our tree when we get home. So. <clears throat> don't want to say anything too much because you never know who's listening so I got or my husband picked out actually this set this play-doh set and it has um, she wanted an ice cream maker play-doh set and there was this one that was like this whole set and a stand and it, it took up a ton of room and we have stuff like that and it just doesn't get played with and so when I saw this when I, my husband and I saw this, I thought this is perfect. It can go on the table when she's playing with it. When she's not, we can put it up in the closet. So picked this up. We also got, he specifically picked this one out. She loves to bring us play food and like, you know, makes, makes us food in her kitchen and stuff. So I think she's gonna love this. You can make hot dogs, hamburgers, pizza, pizza hot dogs and hamburgers yeah so that's that's super cute and then I grabbed this one and you can make cupcakes and little cake balls and things like that so she's she's gonna love that and each of these has some play-doh in it and we already have some the one the stuff that we have is kind of drying out so we went ahead and grabbed just a pack of 20 Ooh, 20 um, they sell a pack of 40 but that was a little excessive so we went with this pack she's starting to finally not mix all of the colors together she's not she did that last year or two years ago when she got play-doh she just mixed it all together and made like this gray color so all of our play-doh is gray so she's starting to kind of want separate colors so I think having a fresh start with her play-doh is gonna be awesome so that all of that together is her big gift so that is everything for Everly that is from us. Now I'm gonna move on to Sawyer. He is five, he's five, he just turned five. I wanted to say four, he's five. And um, like I said, I feel like he's lacking. Once I get um, everything shown, maybe he's not. I don't know, maybe it's pretty even. We'll see. I don't, so what we do is we don't go by like each kid gets $100, each kid gets $200. We go by their interests and what they're gonna like the most because I think if you set a budget like that, you could end up filling, like with Bennett, he doesn't need $100 worth of toys because he doesn't care that much. <laughs> but like, um, you know, it's just different what their interests are and different things are more expensive, you know. So, also with when your kids get older, like starting to get in teenage years, their gifts, um, get larger in price so the quantity is a lot less but the quality is good it just depends on what your kids are into so I don't do like each kid gets five presents to open each kid gets a hundred dollars we just kind of try and make it even so when I'm looking at this like I just want to make sure everybody is gonna feel special and nobody's gonna feel like he got a little bit you know extra attention you know they put a little bit more thought into his toys I don't know you know where a mom's brain goes you just I want everybody to feel special and have their special things but we also need to remember the reason for the season anyways moving on to Sawyer he is five and Sawyer is into cars Hot Wheels he's into um, like Imaginex characters with his brother Henry so 
Marvel characters, Batman, he's into Sonic the Hedgehog, um, they're both into gaming, and so yeah, that's going to kind of reflect in both of my boys' presents. So first off, for Sawyer, we found this Squishy Hulk. Um, don't ask me why these things are so expensive. <laughs> these are ridiculous. Um, he's going to love this. I know that my mom got him a set of like smaller ones, but we found this bigger Hulk and we, we were feeling like he needed um, something else to just kind of stay even with the other kids. So we found this and he is going to love this. He's going to love this. This was, um, these things were actually on his list. We also, whoops, like Bennett with Bennett's little gun, um, picked him up one, but one that was geared more towards him. So he loves Roblox. And so I found this one. He's going to love this. I'm so excited. They all, we have so many Nerf guns, but the smaller ones, they tend to play with more. They just fit in their hand better. And like I said, we were looking for smaller items that we can travel with. Um, next, this was like a last minute find and my boys love Imagine Next. If you don't know what that is, it's, um, I don't know, a line that Batman, I, there's Batman ones, there's like pirate ship ones, there's I, just, if you don't know what it is, look it up, but it's cute. They're little action figures and they have play sets. And my boys love it. We have a ton of the Batman's uh, sets and a ton of the characters. But I found these, which I've never seen before. And it's like the character, but it has like a big head on it. I don't know. They're going to love these. Henry got a different one, but he saw your gut flash. So he's going to love it. Looks like this. So that is for Sawyer. We also... I picked this up a while ago and put it in the back of the closet just um, to have for Christmas for him. And it is a pack of Sonic cars. Like I said, he loves Sonic. This has Tails, Sonic, and what's the red guy? Knuckles, yeah. Tails, Sonic, and Knuckles. I actually picked this out. My husband was looking at the Hot Wheels sets and I found this one for Sawyer and I thought it is because it has this ball from Jurassic World. He loves dinosaurs, he loves Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, and because it has the ball that they ride around in, I thought he would like love this. So I'm excited for him to have this on Christmas morning. He also got a set of headphones, just like Everly's, the cheaper ones from Walmart. We went with a little bit nicer ones for the older kids, but for um, Sawyer and Everly, so yeah, uh, just a cheap set for Sawyer because they will break, um, but specifically those are for our travel plans. At Ollie's, um, when I found that Spider-Man for Bennett, I also found this gaming headset for Sawyer. And they're really good with returns apparently. I asked her, I was like, if this does not work, can I bring it back? And she said, yes, it was only $9.99. So crossing my fingers, it works. But we go through, through these quickly. The boys break them, I don't know. So cheap is where it's at apparently because I'm not gonna spend $100 on one for it just to get broken in a few months. And for him to have his very own, it's gonna make him feel special. So we have that, they play with their friends. Um, it, it's a thing. Lastly, well, before his big gift, I picked up this little, gate. it looks like a Game Boy. To me, it's a Game Boy. To him and my son, they're like, what's a Game Boy? Um, it is, I'm going to take it out so I can show you. But it is, it's a game. Okay, but you don't put games in it. There's games already loaded on it. And it comes with these old school looking controllers that you can hook up to the TV and um play old school games like the old school mario i want to say i wish i had maybe i can put on the screen like a few images or something about the games that are on here but um their friend has one of these and he loves it and so i thought for like 19 20 bucks they are they both getting one um sawyer's is green and uh i think they're gonna love this so it's cool that they can play it um like on its own but then they can also plug it into the tv i think that's pretty cool so for sawyer's big gift 
Again, I'm going to lean over so I can put a picture. Didn't want to bring it in and risk anybody seeing it, but it is a scooter that we found at Walmart and it comes with a helmet and knee pads. It's super cute. He's going to love it. It's blue. He loves riding his brother. Somebody is blaring the TV out there. Okay. <laughs> he loves riding his brother's scooter. He doesn't have one of his own, so he's going to be so excited for that. So that is his big gift. Now, lastly, moving on to Henry. Henry is into gaming. He's into Pokemon. He is into Legos and I don't know, Imaginex characters, things like that, what I've been talking about. Similar to Sawyer, but he's older. So um, first of all, I'll show you his headphones. They are, or they were $12.99 at Aldi, Aldi, at Ollie's. And these are wireless headphones, so I'm hoping that they work good. Um, it says, I don't know, Air Vibes Boost wireless headphones. The brand is Vivitar. I really am hoping that they're good quality, but for $12.99, I mean, hopefully they last for our travel. That is like my main goal here with all of these um, headphones. <laughs> um, so the next thing, this is something that I found at Walmart way back it was actually on the clearance aisle and i found a set of characters the one thing that my boys play with so we have all these big toys all these big play sets all of this and the thing that my kids play with are like tiny little action figures tiny little characters so i'm kind of like i said scaling back in size and going with what i know they're gonna like and these little characters will get a lot of love i'm sure so I picked that up a while ago, like I did with the Sonic cars, just put it in the back of my closet, saved it for Christmas. Another thing that we picked him up is this little Lego stunts um, thing. These are pretty cool. He doesn't have, it doesn't take, it's not like a ton of building, but it's cool because you can pull it back and then it'll go on its own. And it has a Lego guy, which like I said, the characters are where it's at. So we picked that up. That was kind of a filler thing. I just wanted to make sure that everybody, like I said, felt even. Ooh, moving on, I picked him up this Fortnite um, gun. So like Sawyer and Bennett, he's getting a little Nerf gun. He loves Fortnite, he's gonna love this. They're gonna have tons of fun playing with their little Nerf guns on Christmas. Another gift for Henry that I did pick up a while ago, but I'm excited about this one because I love that they're into the characters and the Imaginex toys and this isn't, yeah, no, this is not the Imaginex brand, but it's the same size. This is the Play School brand of the action figures, that glare. But it's got a ton of action figures in it. It's got Iron Man, Hulk, some I don't even know the names of, Captain America, Thor, there's others. Uh, Black Widow, yeah, there's, there's how many, one, two, 10, there's 10. I think I got it on Amazon. Pretty sure I got it on Amazon. Like I said, if you're interested in any of these items, I will try and link them for you down below. Henry got the Batman version of what I showed you um, from Sawyer's. So this is the Batman with the big head and the, the action figures down here. So I think those are so cute. And I think they do something else. Like they shoot things, I you know. Okay, like Sawyer's, I'm gonna have to hurry. My kids are like done with me hiding out in here. Um, like Sawyer, he got one of these little gaming things and his is red. So they will know whose is whose and hopefully there's no fighting over that. And then lastly, okay, so I feel like Sawyer and Henry are even. I think we're good on that. Um, I don't need to go pick anything else up. Um, lastly, for Henry's big gift, we got him this Pokemon set and it has, I don't know how many cards in it. These things are so expensive. So we got him the Pikachu one. He loves Pikachu. And then we also picked up this tin. My husband grabbed this one. This thing's like 25 bucks. I don't know. What's in it? Two, five packs. Okay. Hmm. He's going to like it. And that's all that matters. This is what we try and do at Christmas. Just tailored to their specific interests at the time, get things that we know that they're gonna love, and I'm really trying to cut back on the junk, like the, the stuff that just 
sits around my house and collects dust that they don't play with. I have been trying to declutter all of the stuff that just sits there and in the, gets shoved in the toy closet and they don't care about. And I'm trying to get things that they're going to actually value and treasure. And so hopefully we did that this year. Lastly, before I go, I wanted to share with you a few things that we're gonna put in their stockings. So down the stocking stuffer aisle at Walmart, I found these little packs. It's actually, yeah, green and red. Little packs of Oreos. All my kids love Oreos, so they'll all be getting one of those. One of my kiddos is gonna get this in their stocking. It's actually one of my older kids, so hopefully they're not watching this video. Ruining surprises. We picked up a bunch of these big, my husband thought these were cool because they looked like an old school candy cane, but they're really fat. Hopefully you can tell. They have these at Walmart, but we got them at all, uh, Ollie's. I think we paid the same as what they cost at Walmart. They, they're cheap. So yeah, cute little peppermint sticks for the kids. The three, no, I should've got, no, yeah. The three middle kids. Are still really into this guy so um, we have one of these I, I feel like somebody's outside the door listening so I'm gonna kind of not say a whole lot but we got three of these and they're gonna love them they're chocolate I picked up four nerds ropes for four of my kids one of my kids who loves bubble plum is gonna get this in her stocking my older kiddo as well as this um, little peppermint bark she yeah, it's an Andy's peppermint um, and chocolate. She loves peppermint, so I grabbed that for her. She's kind of trying to cut back on the sugar, but I thought, I thought, you know, it's Christmas. Just small things um, she will appreciate. I picked up everybody a different one of these candy cane um, filled with candy. We have Warheads, just the plain old chocolate Hershey's. We've got a couple of the Reese's because those are a hit. We got some Sixlets and then some hot tamales. I also picked up a pack of these holiday Hershey's bars. There's six in there, so that's perfect. One for each of the kids. I got this bag of peppermints for my kiddo who loves mints. And then the last few things, um, a while ago when I was in Dollar Tree, I found these little I like magazines really, comics, there's mazes, there's um, like word searches and stuff, and then let's see, coloring pages and you know, things that they're gonna like. So this one is for Henry, this one is for Sawyer, this one is for Everly. I actually got these for 25 cents at the Dollar Tree. They were marked down, I don't know why. So. That is everything that I have to show you today. I may pick up a few couple small, small things here and there, um, but we're getting down to the wire. Christmas is coming up right around the corner and I, pre I feel pretty good. I think we're ready. You know, they're gonna get so much other stuff from all of my family and my husband's family. So I'm feeling good about what we got. Thank you so much for watching my video today. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Remember, I will have as much as I can linked in the description box. If there was something here that you saw that you were interested in, check out the description box. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around and I'll see y'all my next one. Bye guys.